Hello, my wonderful spirit guides. Today I'm going to be doing a Patreon request and that is for the album Know Now by Clarence Clarity. And I know Clarence Clarity best from producing Rina Sawayama's music. I have heard a couple songs from Clarence Clarity on a live stream and I think maybe one of the songs or, or oh, I don't know are in this album so I know one song <laughs> but other than that I do not know what's going to be coming or what's going to be happening. I'm really looking forward to it. If you'd like to become a Patreon all the links will be in the description and if you'd like to follow me on Instagram I shall follow you back. I've also got a tip jar if you feel like being generous and want to give me a tip for the work that I do and so on like that. Um, yeah but anyway let's get into it. I'm excited. Okay so the first song is called Become Death. Wait, did it really start like that? Wow. <laughs> that is like so sparkly. That is crazy. Wow. <laughs> so intense. And that was the whole that was the whole thing. Ah. So I guess that was just like a big introduction. Um and it makes sense. It's it's very Clarence Clarity, the sound is that big like expansive sound and it sounds a little bit sparkly and it also had the like kind of choral vocals going on it's definitely a sound that i haven't really heard anyone else do you know it, it is clarence clarity's kind of signature sound that um very textured big epicness intenseness so yeah that was a cool way to start it okay next one is called will to will to believe <laughs> overwhelmed in like the greatest way because number one fucking love that he's just like his vocals are sliding everywhere <laughs> makes it sexy makes it a little bit menacing and then the production is <laughs> it's got a which feels really like Mm, like a groove right kind of a r&b hip-hop sort of feel but then all the other sounds going on it's like my mind is literally like it feels like i'm in like an arcade or something and there's a release that is a release This is such a clusterfuck! Okay, <laughs> I was just trying to like listen to all the sounds and everything that was going on like and I was just there thinking I don't think I would actually be able to depict it on first listen and then it just suddenly has a really distorted clouded metal part which is like <laughs> it just threw me off and I loved it. I, I, okay. <laughs> it's so heavy. And it works. Oh, that's kind of cool. It's got like an open feeling. Ooh. 
Okay, okay. <laughs> well, okay, towards the end there, it kind of got to like this kind of hardcore, kind of bring me the horizon moment, later bring me the horizon, where it felt like it was like, you know, like a kind of freedom feeling, rather than the metal bit that was before, which felt very, but the ending felt very, yeah, went from closed to open in quite a dramatic way. Um, God, this is crazy. And we've got like 20 songs on this album or something. I'm down, I'm literally down. Okay, next one is called Alive in the Septic Tank. I've heard that name before, maybe I've heard this. I don't know if I have, but I've definitely heard the name. The horror. <laughs> it's silly. Like, I find it silly. I heard him say something about Egyptian and actually funnily enough it does have that kind of Egyptian feel to it doesn't it am I being crazy a bit of a snake charmer feel as well um and also when I say it's silly I mean that in a good way it's like it's fun like it's almost like not gimmicky but um and not stereotypical either. It, it's kind of like a, I don't know. It's like a funny way of being like, let's take a traditional sound. Because in the other song, it had this like strange gong sound as well, which sounded a little bit like Chinese. It's like gong, like a kind of sound like that. And it's like they've taken sounds that we all know, like arcade sounds or whatever, but manipulated them. And that's what makes it kind of funny and fun. Um, yeah, that's cool. Anyway. It's got such a sexy, like, while you're singing. It just is sexy. That's cool. Very early 2000s. Ooh. Oh my god, it's so hot. Actually, it's like, yeah, slinky. I feel like I'm the snake being charmed. <laughs> like I've said this on a live stream before but it's like Justin Timberlake uh but again like you know like Justin Timberlake kind of vibe and vocal but totally put into this crazy production with crazy effects on it also I found that the vocal sits quite far in the back like it sits not in the back it sits amongst the production as in like it's almost like in a sleeping bag of production <laughs> so it's a vocal and the production is like kind of wrapped around it. That's cool. Okay, next one is called Buck-Toothed Particle Smashers and it's got Clarence Clarity and Kill J. Oh, 
I've got so much chills for one. Um, I, I, oh, sometimes like when you hear something you really like it, like I was thinking, what if I randomly faint on one of these? <laughs> I mean, that would be the most dramatic ever reaction you could ever have. But like, it does something to my brain that literally is like, I can't process. There's, I, I <laughs> it just, it, okay. I feel like I'm just going to shut down and Clarence Clarity is just going to do the work. Because he's literally like, it's like he's plugged wires into my brain and then I'm just like paralyzed listening. Woo, that beat's good. Okay, let's go. Sorry. I need to like. The vibrato he does. No, no. I love it. It's like this wind pile. The voices are going around the head. So rhythmic. actually like it did that whole like like almost like a weird phone alarm but not at all uh again kind of making weird sounds like a weird xylophone and then you're there going what well, what's this about and then it just changes the radio station you know straight into hit factory of sadness okay so this one i think i have heard i heard about alive in the septic tank like i heard the name of it but maybe I'm being crazy, but Hit Back to Your I feel like I've definitely heard. I don't think I've heard this. Why do I like, know the names? Maybe I've seen people on the live stream, like, talk about the names. That's so... That's so interesting. Creating sad hits. Okay. Yeah, I've definitely not heard Hit Factor of Sadness, but I... Why am I... Looking at the names, I keep thinking I recognise them. But I feel like maybe someone's just told me about them or something i don't know but um yeah like talking about effects and sound effects and so on like how clarence likes to use them well yeah clearly it's been portrayed right there but with the name hip factory of sadness it's like yeah this is the creation of hits um and that could be like in my head i'm like is that sad music the creation of sad music or creation of like number one singles but it's sad because it's it's more of a product than like the artists wanting to make music like that they they're the product if that makes sense i could have said that way better <laughs> i could have said that way better but i'm sticking with it okay um yeah this one's called off my grid <laughs> Trying to 
reminded me, oh, you're not ready for like, uh, was it 100 Gex? 1000 Gex? I can't remember if, uh, is there an album 100 Gex or is there an album 1000 Gex? And then they're called, one, is it 100? I'll look it up in a minute, but um, when, I, when I'm editing, not in a minute, but <laughs> when I'm editing. Um, and they said, oh, you're not going to be ready for that. Oh, do you think she's ready for this? And like, that was like, simple. This, on the other hand, this is really different and really chaotic and crazy. This is different. <laughs> I love it. I love it. So unique. <laughs> you in the deep end. Anxiety-inducing. Oh my god. Okay, 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 okay. <laughs> right, okay. This one, I, in particular, I do kind of want to look at the lyrics because I couldn't hear them very well, but I felt like something was being said that I would like. I heard something about I'm addicted to myself or I'm disgusted in myself. I heard little bits like that. And I was like, okay, I really need to know what is being said here. It says, talk to me through a screen, talk to me like I'm real, talk to me like we are destiny, waiting, sinking. Stop me swallowing fires, I'm addicted to myself, got vindictive desires, I've got, I've got off my grid. Trapped in death waves beneath the avalanche, sinking, slow the panic down, watching time-lapse ghosts, and you're watching flowers grow and die. We'll scatter ashes where we met you, throw caution to the wind. You have seeds with new arms reaching. This is extremely poetic. And it's so weird because it's like, the sound doesn't really allow you to catch the lyrics. It's almost a little bit, you know, covert. I don't know, just like uh, hidden. I wonder if that's on purpose though. Maybe there's no real confidence in what he's saying or maybe he wants his message to come across it in a way where you have to look into it. If you're, if you're that interested, you look into it. If you're just a listener and you're not too bothered, don't worry about it. It's for those who really want to seek what he's saying, if that makes sense. In the mistrust that I lost, in the loss that I trust, in the times I collapse, it drips like dust. And there's dreams where I'm sleeping and there's dreams where I don't wake up. Can't stop me swallowing fires. I'm addicted to myself. Yeah, it just says I'm addicted to my Oh, it does say at one point I'm disgusted with myself. Yeah, yeah, sorry. I fell off the grid, I fell off the grid. I got voices in my head, got destructive desires. I got one hand on the Bible. Sorry, I'm going in a funny order. <laughs> but um, yeah, wow. Okay, I knew there was something there that I was like, I kind of really want to hear that. Okay, okay, right. So th this one, this one, I can assure you, I have definitely, definitely heard. Because I've heard this one and I loved it. And it is, those who can't cheat. And I, I saw the music video on the live stream and I loved it. I loved it so much. What is it? What's it? What's that? Right, one sec. <laughs> I re-dyed my hair today, so it's very vibrant. So got glittery makeup, glitter, madness. But yeah, the lighting's always a bit, 
it's because it's raining today as well. It's just the whole thing, okay? <laughs> Don't blame me, blame the weather. Wish I didn't have to wear huge headphones on my head, but they're really good headphones. So it's like, oh, well, you have to make sacrifices. That will do. <laughs> Let's go. The universe unfolds. Oh my god, it's so good. I love it so much. <laughs> I showed this song to my um Yeah, sorry. I showed this song to my boyfriend and he really liked it as well. So that was really cool. The scream. The scream. Wow. How can you not get down to that? Whew. Oops, I forgot my sickness. Something like that. But on that one, I feel like you can hear the vocal a little bit more. It feels like it's meant to be, you know, it's a bit more out there, a bit more extroverted. Um, fuck. You know, I said this in a live stream, but it, at the end, it sounds like they took, it, took the song and then ripped it. Like they just went and stretched it in little moments. Obviously they didn't do that, but it feels like they just constructed like a whole like mechanism and they just sort of like pulling it apart. And you can imagine this big bit of machinery and like as you pull it apart, it like feels and it's like, ah, you know, you can always, it's like ripping it apart and it feels the pain. I'm out of breath, sorry. <laughs> that was so much fun though. Okay, next one is called Let's Shoot Up. Huh, okay. It's that um sound again, like the phone alarm. Is it the same or different? I think a bit different. Oh, 
Diazepine, di marzipine, or di like some sort of painkiller? I don't know. I'll have to look after. So, what the hell? Is Again, they're kind of deconstructing. Kind of California hip hop San Andreas moment. Ah, okay. Another one I'm interested in lyrically. So I'm gonna gonna look. It says a lot of strange things. That's Ophelia Harp. That's a make. It, it's. I don't know how to say this. It's you and me. That's umake ishe flume. I don't know what I don't know I don't know the language. <laughs> or if it is even a language. And it oh, okay, I suppose it says here it goes, what? Then it goes, and if it finds a way to your heart, that's what makes it true. You and me, you and me, that's what makes it true. And it finds a way to your heart. That, okay, so it it maybe Huh. That is so interesting. No wonder I was trying to figure out what the lyrics were, because I was like, what? Um, yeah, I was hearing things like, diazepine, marzipine. <laughs> but maybe I was trying to make it make sense. And even though diazepine and marzipine, it's actually diazepam and marzipan, 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 pan. <laughs> I don't know. Um, I was hearing it like that, and I was like, hey, what's going on? It's so confusing. But um, wow, that was, okay, cool. Okay, right, next one is called Blood Bath, and, and bath spelt like throw up, you know, like barf. Okay, sounds horrible. Let's do it. Oh, it's raining, just like today. Clarity's attempt on Kate Bush. <laughs> I feel like they, it's got that kind of gothic 80s sound amongst it. Bit of a melancholy song. It's like Clarence Clarity's ballad. Ugh. I would love to like be in the studio and see how this is made. I think everyone feels that way though, right? <laughs> wow. I just want to see what they used, how they made some of these sounds, like outside objects they might have used, what kind of sounds they created electronically. I just want to know because it's interesting to me and I love it. I'll have a look at the lyrics to that one actually because I, I was interested in that one too. If living this without you is no good, if living this without you is no good, I'll step through, I'll step through a wormhole and a bloodbath in the rain because living this without you is no good. I really thought he said something like about um, the rain and obviously the rain was playing and it is a bit of a kind of melancholy sort of love song in a way. Um, wow. Well, Oh, it's actually quite a sad song. Cool, I liked that. That's cool. All right, next song is called Ta. Oh, okay. right. All right. Okay. 
Tathaga Tagaba. Tathaga Tagaba. Let's do it. Wait, what? Is that real? Okay, so you're trying to tell me that this tag 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 blah 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 is just It's like whispering or writing. Literally sounded like the faintest of like. You know what I mean? Couldn't quite tell what that was. Okay. <laughs> Brilliant song. Next song is called um, Meadow Hopping, Traffic Stopping. Meadow Hopping, Traffic Stopping, Death Splash. These names are absolutely hilarious. <laughs> spookiness the gimmicky kind of spookiness mixed with like um the brightness and like that kind of clarity 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 where it's very sparkly and like nah! and it was cool and it had a good call and response so you can get singing along to it so it really draws you in yeah that was cool okay what the hell this is such an interesting reaction like it's so i'm just i don't know what it looks like but i'm feeling it on a different level to what i feel other types of music usually. This is really fun. Okay. Anyway, this one's called Pawn Mountain. <laughs> oh God. HD. I'll give my legacy the kiss of death. Split out with our holy sister slay. Yeah. So it can do this all night. I love this as well. Love it. If this is this love of this policy with Renefin, you gotta tell me, Steven. Is it like weird to kind of 
of like have a crush on someone's voice. <laughs> because his voice has got me feeling some type of way. It is so damn sexy to me. Like, it, 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 oh. damn. <laughs> it sounds so good. And with the name Porn Mountain, I'm like, no wonder it sounds sexy. I'm going to look into lyrics after this one, though. This one's really intriguing me, and I like it. That's me what I'm thinking. <laughs> unexplainable wow I, I, I what to me it's just like absolutely in insane how much he toned himself down on Rina Sawayama's uh, album <laughs> like and I thought that was crazy but no this is genuinely like something else what in the actual hell am I listening to the textures I'm seeing and the colors and stuff like I wish I could go into it, but it's just happening so fast, so many things. That one, I will, I guess I'll try and mention. I'll try, I'll try. I could see like a room and it's like, I don't know why, but like decades sometimes have like a, a colour I can see to them, right? Um, and this was a 90s sort of room, right? So the colours, however the colours I guess looked 70s, but anyway, it was a 90s room for sure. It was a TV. And it had like um, browns, uh, like, you know, like off white, beigey, like more yellowy, but, but, you know, I don't know. Like imagine like a golden filter, I suppose. Um, greens, like olive greens. Anyway, that's the colours, but I could see a sofa. I guess I can kind of imagine slightly like the living room in the song Long View by Green Day. Uh, apart from it wasn't dark in there. Anyway, uh, uh, you know, a lot of the sounds reminded me of like a VHS and like the tape inside it, you know, like the actual film inside it, you know, and I, I suppose for a lot of the songs actually, feels like this film is either being singed or pulled or stretched or, you know, it like it's going backwards in the, um, in the video player or, like you're pulling it out the VHS. It's like, sounds like that. Um, sounds like the, the visual of that. <sighs> I think that's the best I can do for this one. Also the strange little ding, and it'd be like, ding, like pulled out kind of ding sounds. I was really curious as to what that was. Like, is it like a, is it like a ding that's been pulled or is it more of a scrape, like a it's so delicate. I'm just so caught up on the sounds and like this video would be a lot longer if I really described everything but it's really hard to know where to start. But anyway, I guess I'll look into the lyrics of that one. I love that one. <laughs> I'll give my legacy the kiss of death. Watch me. Split it with Holy Sisters Sledgehammer. Because real villains never die. No. So we can do this all night, girl. So then you spin to me, if dishonesty is not the best policy, we're in a fix. Untruth blinds our way. If dishonesty is not the best policy, we're in a fix. Before you go, can you feel it? Is it violent? Ulysses starts to see me in silence. Before you go, can you feel it? Is it violent? Ulysses starts to see me in silence. Then it says HD pictures, HD sound. The high priest of computations has enough of his temptations. And the high priest being a tarot? He serves the clouds to pawn mounted. So don't ask me what I'm thinking, please. Hmm. So he's kind of like surfing the web for porn. <laughs> it 
says here and jumping on my deathbed i won't fear for anything jumping on my deathbed i won't fear for anything and then the outro suddenly there's a stabbing pain in my heart lights go out in my head and it's over it sounds like some sort of like jealousy of like someone he's with about him watching p-o-r-n um and then the person gets revenge on him for watching it. I don't know, that could be really out there. Okay, it might, I think it follows like a story, but it says, here it seems that the grand finale is, is being interrupted and postponed by the song. Apparently it's kind of about P-O-R-N addiction, postponing important things because of your desire to interact with this kind of media. Someone who wastes their life watching it and dies without losing anything because he had nothing to begin with. Huh, interesting. So there is no really a, another person no one's jealous or anything like that, but that's that's a really interesting concept, actually. Whew. So I'm there going, oh, God, he sounds so sexy in this, which still makes sense. But um, actually, it's about being that sort of person that's addicted to it, which isn't so sexy. Okay, wow, okay. <laughs> and I guess it made sense when I was seeing, like, the TV with the videotapes as well, just watching it all day, just sat on the sofa watching it in that 90s grungy kind of apartment. Wow, okay, okay. Next one is called One Hand Washes the Other. <laughs> I feel like he was really inspired by a lot of hip hop, you know, as well. I just have to have um, a ready, which is basically chalk, because I've got acid reflux. <laughs> um, so yeah, if you see this, that's what it is. It's just mint flavour. This one has a very weird feeling of like uh, something looming over him, like voices and dark thoughts. Uh, I Obviously I could be wrong, I'm just going off what it sounds like. But like this weird like demons haunting him or voices haunting him, pestering him, telling him to like, he's like, you know, putting him down or whatever. I don't know why. I'll look into this one as well after. Um, but yeah, that's what I'm getting. The demon. Freedom, escaping, running away, mania. Huh. Oh god. Okay. Oh god, the way they go into each other is crazy. Let's read. Sorry. I'm trying to get this down before I go read again and spit it everywhere <laughs> okay um it's either too dark or it's too bright i never like it in the middle maybe i'll keep it like that for now anyway intro one hand washes the other first one conceived and achieved and i'm bleached and i'm clean and i eat the spleen fed back to me i dream and succeed in between white sheets in a dream where i lie next to me i could bleed emphysema emphysema 
both got both feet in, sw in a swollen fever. Hear no evil, see no evil, but I could flee and I bleed for you. Ha, huh, okay. Lots of e, 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 dream, bleed. It's it, it's actually, uh, you know how I said it, well, he must like hip hop. It's actually a very like rap way to write. I used to write a lot of my poems like this, you know, rhyme one certain word for a long time. I used to write poetry like that a lot, like uh, six, seven years ago. That's interesting. And then the chorus, when you clap, I do it, and I can step into it when you ask me to move you. When you clap, I do it, but if I stop a minute, you'll ask me to lose. When you clap, I do it, and I can step into it, you ask me to move you. Okay, so in a weird way, when you clap, I do it. So like, I do what you want me to when you clap. And I guess that kind of correlates to what I was saying about the voices. With my sides in a vice, I'm concise and contrived, and my imperfections run to me. And there's flies in a pile where my hopes go to die, here my plier plucked insecurities. You're looking godly next to me, you're looking godly next to me, you're looking godly next to me, pull and set us free. Ha! Huh. Yeah, I feel like what I was hearing, like the vibe of it, makes a lot of sense to this. The bridge says, I was born in love with everything. Exhausted empathy. I got bored. There's a truth in apathy. Isolated entropy. Let's get bored, let's get bored, and feed the sickle down our throats. But here, I'll say what it says. This track directly succeeds Porn Mountain, a song in which Clarence Clarity details his addiction and ends with the lights going out in his head after Master... Master. <laughs> Master Bassion. <laughs> okay. Punctuated by a deep sense of disgust for himself. Hmm. Post Master Bassion, there arises a deep desire to become clean, both literally and figuratively. Okay. The title draws the imagery of clarity, shamely shuffling, shuffling to the bathroom and reflecting in the sink as he washes himself of his own fluids. I really could see him in the sink as well, which I said that. Did I say that? No, I didn't. Well, the song's lyrics speak of becoming clean in a more metaphorical way, kicking the habit that spawns his insecurities. Okay, oh, I wish I fucking said this, but I could imagine, and for some reason I could imagine my bathroom because, I don't know, my imagination, I guess, doesn't stretch that far. But um, I imagined my bathroom and hit, and i've got a mirror there and i imagined him washing his hands because of the song name of course it's not i'm not that creative but um and i could imagine like these other little voices like looming over him being like you are you know you're gross you're disgusting or you know whispering horrible things to him and that demonic voice as well being like the demon like about addiction i thought of addiction in that way um i wish i'd said all of this before <laughs> I do, because now you don't believe me. Now you don't believe me, but I'm telling the truth. <laughs> but um, anyway, um, so I could really see that happening. But also, um, I knew someone who had an addiction to to the same thing, and they said that like even during, well, they couldn't even have sex with the person they were with because the addiction was too strong. That often happens. But when, even in the future, as he got over it, every time he does do it, he like has to jump in the shower really like quickly after. And it's actually really fucking sad. Oh my God, it's such a horrible addiction to have. That shame. I, I mean, being a victim of SA, I already know what the shame feels like. I know what the darkness feels like I know what the confusion of it feels like the vulnerability fragility I know all of those things um that come with SA and being odd but like watching a lot of that um it's like a you could feel a lot of the same feelings obviously it's a bit different but there's a lot of the same feelings because you don't want to be doing it but you can't help it I didn't explain that too well because obviously in a SA or R situation, um, it it's like it was never your choice to do it. Like, so when I say you can't help it, it's nothing to do with can't help doing it. Sorry, that's not me saying victim is going out their way to have this sort of thing happen to them. <laughs> what I'm saying is, um, once it happens, you can't help feeling those ways about it, and it can lead into actual intimate situations where you find it hard to be in it even though you want to even if you want to be intimate with someone uh trauma can arise and stop you and I can imagine well I already know that's the same with porn addiction 
the shame, the insecurities, the vulnerability, the kind of horrible things you say to yourself and feel about it. Um, a similar feeling uh, to being a victim of SA and R. And like all addiction, it all gets quite bad, but <laughs> heavy topic, heavy topic breaks on. Wow, okay. Next song is called The Cute. <laughs> Oh my god, I love it. Mesmerizing. The girl's just like, oh, whoa. The cute. What you see is what you got. Said something like that. Okay, right, I'm gonna move on because I could get so hooked on these. It's unreal. Anyway, next, it, this one is called 1 800 Worship. Hello. <laughs> Wow, heavy. It's a heavy feeling. It's like a zombie. keeps throwing me off his voice is such a like desperation in it like at all times it's like a desperate feeling and I, I love how I'm like his voice is so sexy and then I'm going his voice sounds so desperate <laughs> I guess I find desperation sexy <laughs> but um no it's got that real like you know like pleading feel to it god help me to remember help me to reform or something I'll, I'll i'll check that after how 
that sound kind of like Middle Eastern or like, you know, kind of Chinese, like amongst it. You got, or you got like the Egyptian sounds, Arabian sounds. There's so many different little like cultural sounds in there that are like, kind of like a video game. And obviously early 2000s feelings, a lot of it. Fucking hell, it's crazy. Right, let's take a look at the lyrics of this one. And I wish I looked at the lyrics for some of the earlier ones, but I think I was just too overwhelmed at the start. At the start, I was like, ah! And now I'm a bit more just like, okay, I'm just absorbing myself into it. I'm absorbing it. Whatever, sorry about all the knocking sounds as well. Hello, my missing fortune must be holed up at the end of time. The slowest tortures kick my thoughts into another line. But if your teachings juxta juxtapose with the prose from other, the other rhymes, we'll write our contradictions. You've got yours, and good lord, I've got mine. But I've read a few things about it, so forgive me if I sound sincere. But I'm circling my own self-doubt, and I'll shout when I get the fear. Okay. Help me to remember, help me to remorse. I think it said that as well. Help me to remember, help me to reform. Yes, it did say that as well. Because this won't do, this won't do, this won't do. Ever so, help me to help you. Okay. Unsung Zen masters drop like flies, blinded in their own light. Unearth my secrets and I'll preach it like my second lighting, lightning strike. Hmm. Now I've learned a few things about this. Now she's harbouring a lump for love. Hmm. The waters are clear, but I'm swimming in a backstream choked by fear. God, these lyrics are really, really poetic. Then does say help me help you. It says here, one eight hundred numbers in the United States and Canada are used for hotlines. In this case, the ending worship implying the number is for religious purposes. However, the real number one eight hundred worship is far from a spiritual hotline. It's a SEX service. The idea that religion and SEX are closely interlinked are explored numerous times in No Now, and this track's title is simply a more obvious nod. Huh. That's kind of interesting, isn't it? Someone said, pretty sure this song is about questioning your religion. Hmm. Cool. Okay, next song is called The Gospel Truth. Okay, very haunting. Oh, oh yeah. Ooh. So good. I love that! The way the rhythm changes like that! Oh, I can't save myself from me! From me. Okay, right. Okay, I'm doing it. I can't. Oh God, this video is gonna go on forever if I keep doing this. But I have to. I won't read the full lyrics. I'll just look at what it's about. 
No, oh, it doesn't say, but... Okay. You're just a memory that you should give up, forgotten cemetery that you should dig up. Oh, I like that. You're like a surfacing to drink from your cup, double think everything, jumping the gun. Boy, you know who you are, death magnet, poison dart. You are maker of your best bad luck and you ain't ever going to reach the stars. Okay. I can't save myself from me. So it's almost like he's saying it to himself. Anyway. Bloody hammering. Now and then as I feel I'm about to give up, now and then as I feel I'm about to give up, the disease looking at me, scratching my insides and haunting my sleep and preaching the gospel truth. I, well, I could hear that bit for sure. If you're fidgety and starting to cluck, the perfect remedy you couldn't think up, and if you're hearing this voice from above, shrink wrap the fucker and drown it in love. Ha, huh, that's actually so interesting. Boy, you know who you are. Choked up, jumped up, cock star. Preteen, spring break sex art. Hit that if you could just get hard. Ha. Huh. It goes back to the whole addiction again, doesn't it? Wow. It's kind of aggressive, isn't it? It's like hateful, the way he's talking to himself. Holy Father, I know these are constructions. Holy Mother, been feeling your contractions. Oh, wow, the lyrics. Holy Moses, ain't nothing but human. Holy Jesus, I'm going you're in your image. Crucifix in my lap like that. A more satisfying erection. Yeah, Lucifer on my back like that. I'm the final revelation. Like the demon on your back, the addiction demon. Fuck me, that's a good song. That really says something, doesn't it? Wow, I loved that. Like, that's how I kind of hear it anyway. I don't know, maybe it's not about that at all, though. Huh, anyway, next song is called No Now, the title track. instrumental piece I imagine. I have to admit the one you know the instrumental piece before um like five six songs ago now I don't know when but it was a lot more hectic and aggressive and a little bit like oh like oh hit factory of um hit factory of sadness it felt a lot more like aggressive and yeah like pained this one has a slight bit of enlightenment. Feels a little bit more like something brighter coming, but I'm not entirely sure. Sparkles and water. You can almost see like a glistening ocean. And you're on a boat. Huh. Oh, they're just tuning though. Detuned, making it not as beautiful as it seems. Oh. Okay. Okay, so it ran into cancer in the water. Cancer with a trademark sign on it. That's very interesting to me. It's almost like saying cancer as a product. Hmm. Something a little bit like, um, what's the word? It's like a bit of a conspiracy sort of feeling. Let's go. This moment, it's like, it feels like, <laughs> like, just hear me out, it feels like it's almost trying to be a pop song. Like, it's trying, like, I feel like this is their intention, not that it's actually trying to be a pop song. What I'm saying is, like, the intention is, it's like this sound that's trying to be pop and mainstream, but there is genuine, like, the, the tuning or, like, the string, it feels like it could crumble down at any moment. There's something underneath, thick and infectious and disgusting, you know, something dark. And it's, but it's trying to reach above that, like, and be a pop song. Da, 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 da. You know, but you can hear the, you can hear little moments that don't make it seem quite right. A bit like the, the tuning at the start, you know, um, the detuned bit in the uh, no now moment. Yeah. <laughs> It's 
been drowned. Like the stereo on the boat has been chucked into the water. Huh. That one... That one was unique. There was a moment in there that I found myself daydreaming. I wasn't really focusing on sound. I was just kind of like... And then I started to daydream. Because it got kind of samey on this bright sound. It was different and then it would shock you back in because it would go da, da, which was kind of cool i i don't know maybe it was intentional <sighs> that's interesting let me know if you know any inside scoop about it anyway next one is called with no fear <laughs> This is really nice sounding. Oh, that's beautiful. Wow, got a little bit of wow wow. again like they kind of all go together huh I'll look into lyrics of these probably after after I've um you know when I'm in editing because I can't do every one huh wait what this one feels like it's such a story In there where it felt like the stereo was being pulled out the water then put back in pulled out put back in then it felt like rewinding through the songs on the album or certain sounds or for the song that it's just played and then as it starts doing that you know goes bah, like a cd skipping but then it gets more and more intense that bit i was just like okay just awkwardly standing here waiting for it to do something just kind of okay <laughs> cool and then it kind of did like a it felt like sonar or something like sounds that only like dolphins or whales could hear then you could hear a sort of sound it sounded like a whale coming closer and then um yeah kind of just ended in its own little way cool hard to react to i guess just cool i liked it <laughs> what can i say it was interesting this whole album is interesting that was such a unique moment to happen I, it kind of reminded me of um, Sophie's song, Love, L-O-V-E, is it? L-L-L-L-L-O-O-O-O-O-O-V-V-V. Kind of reminded me of that a little bit. 
and it's like thing where you just kind of feel like okay you know um it's cool but it's funny to like be on camera listening to it <laughs> okay okay now we're, now it's the last song and it's called now i am huh that's cool let's go for it also i have got really bad acid reflux so if i seem a little bit like dead it's because i'm suffering but i don't want to stop because we're near the end <laughs> That's nice. Oh, it's only short. Well, this is kind of peaceful after what we just heard. <laughs> like it's about to glitter into something. I wonder if you could hear it on the loop. It would hang on. I am clever. I am clever. Yes, I'm clever. I'm clever. <laughs> no, I'm just, just kidding. But at the same time, I'm so glad I did that. Yes. That goes loops round to the first song. Yes, I'm so glad that you guys didn't have to tell me that because I'm always like, oh, damn, when you tell me certain things, I'm like, damn, I didn't pick that up. But yeah, I knew it. Whew, okay. Um, what can I say about that album? Well, it was crazy. <laughs> it was crazy. It was sexy. It was kind of like dark in moments in sense of like about addiction and so on, which was kind of sad. It was groovy. It had like a lot of like early 2000s, lots of hip hop feelings. Um, it was like something that was weirdly hard to react to. I found myself very like just listening in the moment. I feel like, say if there was only 10 songs, I would have got in really deep with all 10 and like described colours and and sound waves and shapes and stuff like that and really looked at the lyrics for every song. But with it being 20 songs, I, I think that might have made me feel a little bit overwhelmed, um, especially because I'm doing this stood up and the video is now about an hour and 50 minutes, so nearly two hours. So I think if I had more, if I'd cut it in two, it might have gone, I might have been able to be a bit more detailed, but at the same time, I really want it, I like hearing it all in one. Um, there were moments in there that I was just like, fucking hell. And there were some moments that I was like, okay, like, I can't, like, sometimes when I feel like I can't have a big reaction to a song I feel like it means I don't like it but then I have to stop and go no I do like it because I'm so focused on the sound and then there's some moments like the cancer in the water where I actually do just start daydreaming and that means I probably am not interested in what the sound sounds like um but when I'm just there like and I'm listening listening I'm really into it uh, I just become conscious of the fact that I'm deeply listening and not like engaging with you if you know what I mean but I need to lose that kind of insecurity because silly um but wow <laughs> okay I'm really excited to edit this one so I'm excited to hear it again when I'm just like sat on my own like editing it just like contemplating it uh I'd love to be in the studio with them amazing I just want to know how it all goes works his voice is damn good um I think uh, one of the people on the live stream said to me that he was actually like insecure to sing before or something but I don't know why he sounds great but wow I hope you liked my reaction and yeah like and subscribe comment because I love reading your comments and yeah I'll see you next time bye